How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. I was strolling around Ranch 99 and I saw this. Any kind of thing, add sriracha sauce and they call it sriracha ramen noodle soup. So is it gonna taste like regular ramen? Maybe like chicken flavor and then you just add some sriracha yourself, right? It could pretty well taste the same thing. So today, let's uh, open this up, cook it and give it a try. This is a big bowl, by the way, and it does look a little bit big. You're gonna get extra sodium in this. If you look, this is two servings per container. So you gotta double this, 460. It's relatively little, but if you look at the sodium, oh my gosh, almost two grams of sodium, 83% over here. Here's your ingredients list. Original flavor, artificially flavored from Aces Food LLC. I'm gonna be doing the boiling water instructions here. Just put in hot water, wait for four minutes. Remove lid, stir well. Here we go. Noodles looks pretty normal. Usually it's quite interesting if you look at the bottom of it. This is all the noodle that you get, you know, compared to the box, it's quite small. And if you fill up to the line here, it's only halfway up. But let me add this sauce packet here. Looks like a lot of red pepper. You can mitigate a lot of the sodium if you don't drink all the soup. So you can try that. Let me add the hot water. Close it up, wait four minutes. Four minutes is almost up. All right. It smells very garlicky. Smells savory, spicy. It smells spicy, all right. I don't smell the typical sweetness of the sriracha sauce. I smell it a little bit. It's a little bit sweet. Let me give it a first taste here. I taste the sweetness. I couldn't smell the sweetness. I like it how it's a little bit chewy. It reminds me of the Korean spicy noodle, the kimchi uh, nongshim stuff. Tastes like it, but then it has the distinctive sriracha um, sweetness and the spiciness. It's like that trademark flavor. There's a lot of little flakes of um, green stuff. I think maybe that's parsley or some kind of herb. I do like how the noodles is a little bit on the thin side though. I'm just personally a thin noodle type of person. It seems like it'll be really hard to not drink some of the soup, which will add to your sodium level. A little bit of context, whenever I eat pho, I don't really put the sriracha in it. I just don't like things with preservatives in it. And I know sriracha, you know, in order to have a bottle like that, you need some kind of preservative in it. So same thing with instant noodles like this. I don't normally eat this, especially when it says artificial flavor, right? I want natural flavor. For novelty items like this, I just get it one time and like never get it again. It doesn't have like any kind of chicken flavor, but it does have MSG. It tastes savory, tastes meaty. It's good. I mean, like they hit all the spots where they put just enough of everything. It's like super delicious, but artificial. The Nongshim kimchi noodle bowl has very thin noodles like this. If they tell me that it's from the same manufacturer, I would believe it because it tastes that similar. But both are good. The kimchi flavor one was good. This is a little bit different flavor, a little bit sweeter than the kimchi um, noodle bowl. Interesting, but I feel like you can almost just get like plain flavored ramen, like or chicken flavored ramen, and then you add sriracha sauce in it. And there you go. You don't have to buy this specialty sriracha noodle bowl thing. On other news, they also seem to have some kind of shortage on sriracha sauce because they have a hard time getting their peppers or like the crop, the crop yield is not very good. Overall, I think this doesn't taste bad. It's very good is what you expect of an instant noodle. Thin noodles, sriracha flavor, tastes meaty. What more can you want? By the way, if you look at the picture over here, it has like green onions and carrots. I don't know if that's carrots or like maybe it's peppers or something, but you don't get any of that. This is a serving suggestion. They suggest you to serve it like this, not what it comes in. See, this is how it comes in. It's like just a little bit of flakes and soup and you only get the noodles. My spiciness tolerance is pretty high and I would say this doesn't hit it all the way up there, but probably about 
60-70% of the way, so it is pretty spicy. I don't know how you guys can find one of these. I'll try to find it on an Amazon link, which I'll leave down in the video description below. Otherwise, I bought this in Northern California in one of the Ranch 99s. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.